right, so let's push that button there. The microphone is on. And good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. We are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Glen Lethan. In the real world, it's Saturday, 25th of May, and here it is July 1. And July 1 means I need to go into this end bay. Six o'clock in the morning. Keep a song by the bangles, and let's get uh, some diesel in this. We have um, a problem with my steering key. That's okay. Um, and cue clunking noises. Is not working? Power lead came out of the uh, the thing. Okay, so now let's go fill this up with diesel. And that button there. Does not appear to be filling up with diesel. It's no, I have 9,000 litres in there, so. Uh, back away. Come forward again. Refuel. There we go. No. Okay. I seem to have a problem with our refueling point, which is a pain. Pull up, it says refuel, still says refuel at about 63% according to the thing. There we go, now it's working. Weird. Okay, so get this thing dieseled up. And then we have stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. Well, some stuff to do. Okay, that is full. stage I'm not sure I'm considering putting a silo along that tree line there and maybe opening up the hedge on the left here but we'll check on that later I guess um, do that, we can turn that off. Alrighty, now let's go get the big pieces of equipment. What else do we need to do after we have... Don't think there's anything else on the books that needs to get done immediately. Okay, this... Meh. I am also going to refuel. It's not 
bad, 69%. There we go, it's working. Okay. I also want to boop. Cultivate a fertilizer harvesting. Field 95 I think is local to us. This is barley. The detail arm. Oh, field 95 is over there, is it? Nope, oh, field 95 is behind our fields. That's fine. Okay, we are going to do that one first. Okay, feels good. Uh, header is 85. I think we can go this way. So, I'm gonna jump in the cab. Uh, I'm not gonna jump in the cab. Can't see where I'm going. <laughs> so yeah, folding headers really great for uh, driving around. Really bad for seeing where you're going. So, locally, um, the kids have gone up to see Grandma because it's Memorial Day weekend, so they won't be here this weekend, so we're going to have a fairly peaceful day today. Um, it is raining. It was supposed to thunderstorm last night, but that didn't end up happening. is going on. That's pretty much all that's been going on this week. Um, back pain is back pain. Um, it feels like I've been scratched by a cat on my lower back. Um, but I asked Mrs. Osa to take a look at it and she said it looks like um, It looks like a needle mark, so I'm guessing it's taking a little bit longer for the hole which they stuck the needles in, or the hole which the needles made, to heal up. Okay, we take the next right, and that will put us on the contract field. And we're going to do the contract field first because it's kind of here. And then, because we're doing barley, we have a whole host of other fields that need to get done. I was expecting an entrance here. Well, okay. A little bit further around than I thought it was. We can unfold the harvester. Um, actually, you know what we need to do? Swath. I think that means, what the heck is button 15? That's 12. Who knows, we'll figure out what button 15 is in later. But for right now, I need to... Uh, okay, not that. What switch? Toggle uh, cruise control, select next tool, 15 and 16. Wow. Guess I'm looking up button numbers. Uh, oh. okay. Ah, 15 and 16 is. There we go. Press the middle button. The 
There we go. And then we unfold that one. Yes. And let's get away from the hedge. Because I'm guessing unfolding that bottom left, so the bottom one is uh, not going to play well with the hedge. We can then select that to go back to the left. Off. We will turn on the harvester and let's go. Let's go, go. And we are just spreading chopped straw. Okay, and we have lot of fields to harvest. Well, we don't have a lot of fields to harvest. We have a lot of harvesting to do. So we have two of our, f both our barley fields are ready to go. Why are we going so slowly? Come on. Okay, not sure what the deal is, but we are going very slow. Is this, is this really that, oh, this is really that steep of a hill. Okay. So I'm probably... Um, mm. Probably going to run north south that way on this field. It's going to make the road shorter, but good grief, even this thing. Small header, big engine, not liking this hill anywhere. So uh, we want to make this job as easy as possible for a harvester. So what we will do as it levels off yeah we go faster and it will take a little bit longer to fill up our uh, grain tank here that's because our header is not very big but it's foldable and frankly on a farm like this or on a map like this I need folderness rather than width and it really doesn't matter um, all that much we'll get the harvest in no matter how big the header is it'll just take us a little bit longer what with the width of the header but time it takes I know I say I, I like to do things faster but the time it takes we've got we've still got sufficient time to do things so we're not in any rush we've got two barley fields one oat field is ready the other oat field is not and i think that's because we we bought that field and planted it at the last possible minute with oats which is why it, that particular field is going to be a late harvest The other nice thing about this now is I can sit in the harvester and actually see what I'm doing. I do not have um, the thing, um, the thing that looks at stuff in orbit. Um, ugh. GPS. Do not have GPS on this. We do have money to install GPS on everything we own if we wanted to. So I have sold off all of the, uh, the silage. So we now have lots and lots of money. Uh, should be good to harvest 
grass and possibly maize next month. Alright, so coming up for the end of the first lap, we're not even half full. That's kind of not surprising really. <coughs> I was wondering if this would have been a good field for us to buy. Just because it's in the same block as some of our others. This one and the two, uh, well, the two in front of us are between the road. And I think, no. Good grief, I'm completely turned around. We're heading approximately north at the moment. So that's basically where I was thinking I want to be for harvesting. And there we go, 10% done. Normally should have gone counterclockwise first lap just to keep the uh, pipe on the left. But I don't know that I'm really worried about that. Not for this field. I mean, we've got those trees along the end, but they're well set back. Oh, here we go, crawling up there again. So local farmers here in Michigan planted their beans probably the last couple of weeks. I know Millennial Farmer put out a video, he was planting beans and he was saying he's now something like two weeks late for his sort of preferred planting window. And that was because they started getting the corn in, then they got three solid weeks of rain. So he had to wait for the rain to go before he could get out and plant the beans. And then Patchwork, good morning, welcome to the stream. Also didn't check to see what was on sale at the store. I don't think we need anything. We've got all the equipment that we need, but I am kind of looking at maybe we should buy, we could buy this field and the one next to it to complete this block. But obviously I don't want to plant and buy this field because it's got a crop in it, so I don't want to adversely affect my uh, environmental score and then that field there we could buy it's um, just covered in lime which is great let's put the camera back to where it was let's go forwards forwards is good to jump back to the farm, pick up the Zerian with the grain cart. So this harvester, I think it probably holds about 14, 15,000 litres, maybe 16, which means three loads will fit in our grain cart. So potentially we'll be 20% done when this is full and then we'll be three cartloads. We'll get about 60% in the grain cart. Not bad. Don't know where this is going. Potentially it could be going to the uh, grain mill. 
it goes to the grain mill, I might buy the grain after we've completed the contract. Well, yes, after we've completed the contract. If I remember rightly, and rules have changed, giants, um, each time they patch to uh, introduce new DLC, they will um, change the rules on how um, contract deliveries to productions work. At one point you got credit for everything that dro got dropped off which may or may not have been a good thing. Uh, more recently I think you don't get credit for the production for the, um, the contract but any bonus grains that you drop off there become yours and therefore you don't get paid for them you just get the production gets filled up with them. Anyway, we're almost full. Uh, possibly 17,000. So that might put us on about very close to three. Three full loads will get us a full car. Oh, we're going further than 17,000 exactly. 17,1. Oh, okay. I want that truck there. I'm just going to go this way. Now that I know where the field entrance is, I don't think it was worth the. Uh, scenic tour to the south of the farm and then there's three other contracts I think one is wheat one is barley and one might be oats could be canola who knows but um, don't have time to do those now so the corn is not ripe enough to forage yet field in front of us ready to harvest so that's one of ours and then we have another barley field just to our right which we'll also have to uh, harvest and those are quite sizable fields remember what I said last week but um, oh, this is not going to be easy to turn well it might be just get away with it yeah um, but I have now finished all of the frames for the model railway bench work in the basement going forward I will be uh, that one. Um, I will start um, putting down boards for the track bed um, sooner or later not this week because I don't have my helper with me but next week maybe we'll start chopping boards for the track bed. Alrighty, that's done. Um, how do we bring the pipe in? Hmm. Buttons for fold. Pipe in. 31 and 24. Hmm. I wonder which one's those are. Let's have a look. 31 24. Twenty-four is F1. Okay, I think that's the trigger. And F1. There we go. Figured it out. Nice. 
Okay, so now we're looking at up and down hills. I am not a big fan of the up and down hills. So I'm going to move forward and we will cut in here. Like I said, I don't have GPS. So 215, whatever 215 is, that's the angle I'm taking. And this should keep things fairly simple. I mean, we have, a, as we said, a 17,100 litre tank on this. Cutting in is... don't think on UK-sized fields is ever going to be a problem for this harvester. Unless we're harvesting a high yield like Barney is really. You do get more grains from barley than you do from wheat, so yeah, that's a thing. But even so, it's so only about five ten percent of what we're doing. things I am wondering. This is a big harvester and a very small header. I'm not sure I might. Um, it might have been advisable to do three headlands rather than two. Obviously the bigger the piece of equipment the wider its turn radius. Excuse me. And so Big tractor, big 12 meter uh, piece of equipment on the back. You can turn around in the uh, in the radius that the tractor can do. Um, if you're running a 8 meter or 6 meter piece of equipment on something like our Axion, well, our, yeah, our Axion, you might not make a turn. In, uh, in six meters. Don't seem to be having too much of a problem here. We'll just keep this going. I'm trying to think what else is going on. There's really not a lot going on. Things 